Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to create curve or in this software called Pass. Click on this pin icon to separate this menu. We have the first tool is Create Pass. If you click it, you can <coughs> choose two methods for creating pass. You can click on your object in 3D space, not to grid. And in this mode, you can pick a plane for uh, creating the curves. This curves system is not very powerful like other 3D software because the SimLab Composer is not uh, 3D modeling software. You have to create your curve. For example, you can <coughs> put your camera or some object or animation on this curve. So for this purpose, it's uh, powerful enough. Uh, you can first mode is pick a point on 3d object first I pick a plane as you can see if you cl clean it you can select that you can select any plane that you want for example in this plane it's turn or again you can pick this plane that's the z-axis and it's done here you can <coughs> activate auto snap to snapping the curves if you want as you can see it's snap here and you can draw your curves you can create three uh, shape of the path and the circular path first you can click a linear if you click you can click 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 to uh, draw a <coughs> linear and you can continue with bs blind path it's a tangent mode as you can see you can uh, create a bs line or you can create an arc pass but second click you can create arc in its sitting you can flip the tangent if you want or you can go in back and uh, close that and after that you can go in here click on them and if you want you can uh, change the arc for example here as you can see you can change the arc or <coughs> you can change the position of that point by clicking them remember uh, this uh, arrow it's the direction of the points I will explain more when we assign a, for example camera or anything that's uh, any object that want to travel on this uh, spline okay you can uh, change the uh, rotation of that arrow as you can see, you can just change the position of that spline in 3D if you want. Okay. And here we can delete. <coughs> okay. Can plane selection. Here we can select another mode, pick a point on a 3D. Here you can, for example, linear, you can click, click on surface of the object to create a lines or spline that you want. And after that, you can finish it. Or be a spline with a selection on a surface of the objects. Here, you can set the surface normal and flip it. You can see? You can flip the tangent and finish. Here, you can uh, uh, change a plane display create an arc separate arc and finish you can flip the tangent and finish and after click select that you can click on select that select this and you can change the amount of the arc or the tangent here or you can or you can select a, a create a circular pass second is second click first click is for center and second click <coughs> is for drawing a radius and you can click it but click with this dot again and you can change bit by click and dragging a radius as you want uh, okay another option is for example in this mode in this uh, point you can change the normal and the direction of the tangent with apply the tangent in this icon first you have to select the 
uh, point on a BS spline, just in a BS spline because the BS spline has a surface and apply. Here, the software tells you put the point on normal. As we can see, the normal of this surface is exactly the uh, <clears throat> line that is a perpendicular to this surface. But if you click that, as you can see, if you see the this direction, it's exactly go in the direction of the normal of that surface. And hit OK. Another interesting tool for creating a <clears throat> pass is generate from objects. Select that. And here, first, it tells you please select an uh, edge. I will explain this, those tools, these tools uh, later, but here you can simply click a center of the curvature for the curve point. If you click on this edge, it's selected. And you can hit OK. And as you can see, it's create a, uh, a spline from that edge. Or, for example, you can go in this object here. Pay attention to the shapes. Pick edge and loop. As you can see, it's exactly you can change the selected loop. Click on this uh, edge. It's uh, you have to choose which one of these uh, loops you can. You can choose the red or green. I choose the red. And as you can see, the tool, you can select it, the tool generate for us oh sorry first generate first click a generate and then select the loop click in here uh, i want the red one and click ok and as you can see from that edge loop we create a pass or curve for us and after that you can select as you can see the uh, direction of that point is in this direction okay this is the pass type and creation in this software. It's very easy. It's used in its own purpose. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.